on top of the list of viral news on social media is the story of a Nigerian Instagram blogger, Blessing Nkiruka Okoro, aka Blessing CEO. Blessing CEO was allegedly arrested for posing by a seven bedroom house in Enugu State, which didn't belong to her. Blessing, who was said to have celebrated her 30th birthday bash across three Nigerian states, Lagos, Abuja, and Port Harcourt, claimed on her popular blog that she owned the house. The 30 years old blogger, who is the founder of Break Up or Make Up, posted pictures of herself standing in front of a new mansion and wrote that eight years ago she got divorced from her husband and was kicked out of the one bedroom apartment they shared. And now she has built herself a seven bedroom duplex. Meanwhile, Onyeze, an Igbo businessman based in China, who is the original owner of the house, got wind of her deception and exposed her online. Yet Blessing kept insisting the house was hers and she shared the plan of the house as a proof. She also shared a video of the house to try to salvage her reputation. Really people, can you believe this lady? She lied and stood firm by it. Hmm. She later shared a photo of herself dressed in her nightwear in front of the house. Unfortunately for Blessing, she went too far. Raise your face up. Very big up. Please. Let me call you back later. We are busy, please. Say that this house does not belong to you. Come for the video. Yeah. This video now we are talking yeah. now. Nobody will post it. Just in case. Just in case. That's it. Back, this house does not belong to, belong to me. Who does this house belong Onyeze. to? Onyeze who? Yes. Onyeze who? Onyeze who? Onyeze who? Onyeze who? What did you do that made them to ask you to say the owner of the house? I recently came here to take a picture. You recently came in here to take a picture? Yes, sir. No, we are not going to. A picture of Onyeze, Abi? A picture of Onyeze? A picture of Onyeze's yes. house? Yes. And you say that Onyeze is a rubbish human being. Right? Peter's news on Blessing CEO today is a video going viral on how she cries bitterly and laments on her live video saying that Onyeze set her up. <laughs> I want the world to hear this even when I'm gone. <laughs> a lot of things has gone wrong and I'm asked to keep quiet and not say a word except they're going to kill me. <laughs> but one more it is to die that what they've done to me on the internet, <laughs> that the world <laughs> feels I did something wrong. <laughs> I would rather prefer to die and tell my story <laughs> than die being quiet. For nothing. I was not arrested by any police officer. <laughs> no police officer handcuffed me and humiliated me. <laughs> it was the only reason that sent his boys. I was invited to his house. <laughs> they called me on the phone and told me that he wanted to see me. <laughs> Stupidly for me because I had nothing at the back of my mind. I just took my shower, wore my gown. <laughs> and went to his house. <laughs> I walked into the compound. I sat on the plastic chair that they gave me outside. <laughs> Three boys were holding belts and two were holding guns. <laughs> I asked what the problem was. They shut the gate, <laughs> collected my phones from me and asked me to sit on the floor. I asked them why. They said it was the Inspector General of Police that sent them to arrest me. I told them, fine, yeah, let's go to the station. They said if I don't keep quiet, they were going to shoot me down and kill me. I had no choice than to sit down because nobody even knew where I was. I was all by myself, sitting on the ground. They took my phones from me. <laughs> One of them brought out handcuff and handcuffed me on the ground. <laughs> All I kept begging was, please stop videoing me. <laughs> they said if I don't say what they asked me to say, they're going to shoot me down. 
I had no choice. They videoed me and asked me to say everything. Asked me to say I impersonated Onyeze's house. I invaded his privacy. I came into his compound. They asked me to use my phone and do a live video. I did a live video. They asked me to post it. I did. They asked me to roll on the ground. And go and start begging on using his compound. By then he drove in. As soon as he drove into the compound, I saw a police officer in uniform. I ran to him and told him, sir, please. I work with the police. They are humiliating me. And the policeman asked me to get out. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> they started doing video calls. The guy who handcuffed me and his friends started calling girls on video calls to mock me. Fortunately for me, they called somebody I knew. And immediately she saw me on the camera. She ran to the destination with her husband and came and started begging them. She begged and begged with her husband. That was the only savior that made them allow them to come into the gate. They asked me to sign an undertaking. I didn't even know what the undertaking was about. Asked me to bring out 500,000, except they are going to publish the video. I told them I don't have 500,000. I just finished celebrating my birthday party. They said if I don't bring the money, then I'm going to. The video is going to go all over the internet. After the begging, they said they wanted to go and know my house. They drove to my compound, asked me to bring down my kids. I brought down my kids. They looked at them. On the process of them driving out, they met my mom at the gate. After the whole drama, they drove off. Before I could blink my eye, the video was already on the internet. And I was like, okay, fine, what more is it to life? You guys have posted the video, so what is it? Will you guys won again? Probably, I don't know what happened. They started getting fused. People started asking why I was handcuffed. So in order to cover up, they came back and asked us to have a drink. To make social media believe it's a stunt that nothing really happened. I'm not doing this video to get your sympathy or to get your pity. I have fought for humanity. I've fought for women. I've fought for children. I've fought for single mothers. With my life, with my money, with my position, with my blood. I have. It's killing me at this point of my life that I can't fight for myself. I try so hard to be strong because everybody says I am strong. But I wanted the world to know what happened before I leave, before I take my own life. I would die in my grave. I would, I would never rest if I have to die without people knowing what happened to me. It's okay for you to judge, run your mouth and say things. It's your mouth. That's what it's meant for. <laughs> All I want is for the world to know that I did not drop into his house. No police officer arrested me. I was never detained. I was just handcuffed. They did the video and posted it online. That is all I have to say. That is all. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Now, what's your take on this? What do you think about what Onyeze did? And do you actually think that Blessing is telling us the truth? Or could she be making up the stories? What do you think is Onyeze's actual motive in all this? Okay, what's even the legal implication of posing in front of a building that isn't yours and claiming it's yours? I mean, we need a lawyer to tell, to throw more light on that. Okay, so let's hear your thoughts on this. Kindly drop your thoughts on comment link below. And thanks again for watching us. See you next time.
Bye-bye.